Okay guys, so yes, I'm back for another Aldi in-store haul video to share with you guys. Talk to you a little bit about our budget and where we're at this week and how things are going. And to show you what we're getting. So um, just to clue you guys in, our two week grocery budget for a family of four and we have a dog is $250 for every two weeks. So. $500 a month for dog food, for personal care items, toilet paper, all that stuff too. And if you're new to my channel, I'm a huge couponer. So I save us a lot of money through the use of coupons and things like that. So definitely check out some of my other videos. So this week we have a total of 20, 40, 65, $70 left in our grocery budget. So basically what I do is I kind of plan out and see what we have. Now, the good thing about sticking to a budget is over time, you kind of accumulate extra items in your pantry or extra items in your freezer as far as meat. So that really helps buy things when they're on sale and do things like that. Um, so this week, I am going to allocate $50 of that to good old Aldi. Um, we really don't need that much stuff. My husband wants to make spaghetti and meatballs, so he wants no turkey meat. He wants... Um, ground beef for meatballs um, that's pretty much it we do not need milk we do not need eggs we need bread and then with that and there's some items that are on sale at Aldi like they have grapes for 99 cents a pound so I'm gonna check those out and see how they look but I would like to get some fruit here it's gonna save me a little a trip just a couple of things now our new budget is going to start on Friday so technically we only have a couple more days till the new budget starts but I'm not gonna go grocery shopping until Monday so out of our grocery budget we at least spend 50% of it at Aldi's and then between um, local grocery stores and fruit markets and things like that that's where we spend spend the remainder so it goes really good and then they have um, chicken breasts, $1.69 a pound. They have turkey deals that are crazy coming up. Um, just a lot of different deals. So I'm going to go in and do that. And then I'm going to go to one of my favorite, this is like my favorite store. If I had no grocery budget, I would shop at Mariano's 24-7 every day. I think they have great, great food. Um, but for signing up for their card, they always send me coupons for items. So I have a free um, Gogurt 8 pack, which is awesome. The kids love Gogurt. I have $2.50 off of a $10 deli or bakery um, coupon, which is awesome. A dollar off of their Roundy's apple juice, which is normally $1.50. So I'm going to grab one of those for $0.50. Cents. dollar off of orange juice. So they send me some really great coupons. So definitely with your stores, sign up for your store programs and earn extra savings that way. But let's go into Aldi and see what's hot and on sale this week. Okay, so as you can see, milk prices went up a little bit. Eggs, I can't remember what eggs were, but $0.79 cents is still a good price. Okay, definitely taking a pass on these grapes. They just are not looking good at all. And even though they're 99 cents, if they're not looking good, guys, take a pass. Okay, the multi peppers are $1.69, which is a pretty good price. I'm gonna grab one of those for chicken enchiladas in the crock pot. If you wanna see that recipe, let me know. Okay, so I tried the peppermint mocha. It rocked, guys, for $2.19. But I'm gonna go ahead and try the salted caramel um, mocha today. Okay, so check out the five pound potatoes. They're $2.99 this week. Last week I got them for 99 cents. Check out my video. That is the difference that planning meals and just thinking things out in store can save. Check out all these Nutella. I've never tried this. Now this week at Walgreens you can grab Nutella for 99 cents if you have coupons. So I will go ahead and link that video above if you want to do some money saving this week. Okay guys, my kids love this um, cheese club mac and cheese for 33 cents. Huge money saving. Okay guys, we love soup and it's getting cold around here. They have this creamy potato soup or you can get the chili for $2.49. I do have a chicken enchilada soup recipe. Super cheap and easy to make in your crock pot. I'll link that above if you guys want to check. But we're going to try the creamy potato soup this week. So my rice was gross. It was really good. I dropped one with the 289. Now it's small. It's only a little bit over a pound. But that's great. My goodness, those look so, so yummy. They are 349 Italian ice cream cups. Another 
price change this week. Remember I got that for like 83 cents, the chocolate milk, now it's $8.59, so like double the price, just watch your sales. Okay, it is time for checkout, here's everything. Okay guys, so I am done here, and my total, let me see. My total was $45.62, so that gives me almost five extra bucks to use at Mariano. So I didn't have a lot of fruit, so hopefully we can get some fruit there, maybe some grapes or something, and we get some lunch meat. So yep, this is $45. Can you believe that, guys? Let's go ahead and get some more groceries. Okay, we're heading into my very favorite, 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 favorite grocery store. Okay, here's everything that I'm grabbing. Now I have the free yogurt that's going to be completely free. $2.50 off of 10 at a deli, so I got $10 worth. Dollar off of my juice, it's $1.50, so that's gonna be 50 cents. And a dollar off of orange juice, it's on sale two for four, so that's gonna be a dollar. So some good deals. And I have like 25 bucks. Grapes are like $2.99 a pound. No way, we're gonna have to just do the strawberries. I got some bananas, we have apples and a couple oranges, so we'll finish those off. So let's go check out. Okay, so here's everything that I got, it's not a ton of bags. I got my free Gilberts for the kids. Lunch meat, we got some Munster cheese, we got American cheese, we got Crocus ham, we got some turkey, we did get some bagels, and cream cheese. Here's my juices, my, okay, so my total was $20.34. Okay guys, so here's everything that I got today. These are all the items from Aldi and my Aldi total was like 45 something, I believe. And I'll tell you how much I have left from the $70 that I had left from our budget money. So didn't get a ton at Aldi. Now, let me tell you a funny story about this ketchup. So we have been out of ketchup for like two weeks, guys two weeks and my kids love ketchup. I have been using the ketchup packets from restaurants. I know it sounds cheap and whatever, but it got us through two weeks of ketchup, which was so funny because we just finished using the pack. So I had to break down and get a ketchup. Um, I'm gonna make some cinnamon swirl bread. This is delicious if you've not tried it at Aldi. It was $1.49, very, very good. Bread, spinach, I have not tried the Aldi version of this South, Southwest chopped salad. I know I've tried a different version like from Jewel and it's delish. So this was $2.49, the one at Jewel is $3.99. So we're gonna give it a try. I got a big old package. This was like the um, killer of my money this week, the $9.30 on the ground sirloin. My husband is very particular. He wanted ground sirloin and he can have whatever he wants there. So I got him his ground sirloin. And then I got two of these Kirkwood chicken Kievs. These are really good. I like just the plain red one. My husband likes the cordon bleu. So I got the creamy potato. We're going to use the garlic cheese flatbread with our spaghetti and meatballs tomorrow. Tri-color um, peppers I'm using with my um, chicken fajita. I think I said chicken enchilada in store, but it's chicken fajitas. Super easy crock pot. We have some tortillas, so we're going to do that. There's a cucumber. Did get Sammy some strawberries. I got some lemons for my lemon water. And then my husband does not like spaghetti noodles. He likes masacholi or um, these penne ones as well. So that was all of Aldi. And then I went to Mariano's. And I got my free go -Gurts. I got my dollar orange juice, I got my 50 cent um, apple juice. I broke down and got some plain bagels and some um, garden vegetable cream cheese. I haven't had a bagel and cream cheese in a while and the kids love this for breakfast so we just toast them, good to go. I did get a couple of bananas and I did get some lunch meat so I got some American cheese here. I got some American cheese. I got some roasted chicken. I got some Munster cheese. And then I also got some Crocus ham as well as far as deli meat. Okay, so out of my 70 bucks, guys, I spent $65.96. I have $4.04. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought about getting a coffee on the way home, but I thought, no, let me keep this $4.04. I know it sounds crazy. I'm gonna put it back in my food envelope. Every penny counts 
when you're trying to stick to a budget. Sticking to a budget is the hardest thing for sure. Thanks so much for joining me this week, guys. I hope these Aldi haul videos are helping you a little bit. And I wanted to show you what else we're spending. Because like I said, we get about 60 to 70% of our items from Aldi. Um, we don't get everything. So um, I wanted to show you where our money is going. And starting next Monday, I will be heading to Aldi again. So be sure to check back on my channel. If you've not clicked that subscribe button, definitely click that subscribe button. And um, yeah, also check out my chicken enchilada soup in the crock pot. It is so easy and it is so good. It tastes so good. I mean, the seasoning is on point. It's perfect for this cold weather that we're getting. And um, it's really a low budget recipe. So check that out here. And also, I'm going to give you guys a tip of the week for grocery shopping. And each week, I'm going to add it in at the end of my video. It might be a repeat just to kind of remind us. But the most important thing on grocery shopping is to make a list. And when I mean make a list, some people meal plan and they're to the point and they're very specific. I think that's fabulous. That is not me. I am not, um, I don't plan every meal. I don't plan breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know, we wing breakfast and lunch because the kids are in school. So it's just me. I can have tuna or I can have a salad or I can have soup. I'm pretty easy, you know, peasy that way. But definitely plan your family meals. So if you're eating, you know, for breakfast, have a couple of breakfast things ready. We always have yogurt. We always have toast. We always have oatmeal. We always have cereal. Um, we bulk make pancakes, so I make the, a whole bunch of them and I freeze them. So then when the kids want them, we just pull them out. So breakfast is super easy. We always have milk, orange juice, things like that. Plan your dinners. If any meals that you can plan is plan your dinners because if you don't have something to eat for dinner, what are you going to do? You're going to order out or you're going to go out and eat. And that's when you're going to be like breaking your budget like crazy. And I'm not saying it because I've done it. I've lived that life where once you start eating out, you kind of get in a rut and it just, it becomes fun and the food is always good, but the price is really bad. So definitely if you can plan any meal, plan your family dinner meals, it's going to save you a ton in your budget. So again, until next week, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.